A royal commentator has claimed Prince William was instrumental in helping Harry and Meghan to secure their own household. Just weeks ago Buckingham Palace announced a new household had been created for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex following their marriage last year, which would mean their staff would be separated from William and Kate's team. Speaking in podcast on air this week, British correspondent Omid Scobie revealed that the Queen and Prince Charles were initially hesitant to grant Harry his own household as he is not a direct heir to the throne. However, understanding how important Meghan and Harry are to the royal family's global image, William was said to have stepped in and fought for his younger brother to get a bigger budget for his own team. Speaking on the podcast, Omid said, Charles and the Queen did not want the Sussexes to have their own individual household, and indeed how could they because the money has to come from the somewhere. It was actually Prince William who had to step in and fight to get Harry a little bit more money to spend on building a team because he understands what this means to Harry and how much he wants to achieve. He also understands how important Harry and Meghan are for the image, the brand and the future of the royal family. Arguing that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were the nation's favorites, he explained that William understood that Harry and Meghan were global ambassadors for the royal family. Female has contacted Kensington Palace for comment. Speaking about Harry and Meghan's new team, he added, they've hired Sir Latham who is a former PR director from the British PR company Freud's which is a big PR powerhouse but also has a massive background in politics. She's American, dual heritage, very much in line with what the couple are all about and I think it helps having someone who understands both cultures. At the beginning of the month it was confirmed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are to have their own household to take forward their growing roles as senior members of the royal family. Meghan and Harry's new household will be based at Buckingham Palace and is likely to be created following the birth of their first baby, expected in April. The move will see the Sussexes and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge formally split their backroom staff and may signal a shift in the direction of their public works. But the foursome remain joint patrons of the Royal Foundation, which is their primary charitable body, and could still work together on big projects like their Heads Together mental health campaign. Harry and Meghan have appointed Sarah Latham, a public relations heavyweight and former senior advisor on Hillary Clinton's 2016 U.S. presidential campaign, as their head of communications. She also worked in the White House under Bill Clinton in the late 1990s when he was American president and was a special advisor to the late Dame Tessa Joel when she was culture secretary. Buckingham Palace announced the development in a statement, the Queen has agreed to the creation of a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, following their marriage in May last year. The household, which will be created with the support of the Queen and the Prince of Wales, will be established in the spring. The Duke of Sussex currently has his own private office, which has been supporting the Duchess since their Royal Highness's engagement in November 2017. This long-planned move will ensure that permanent support arrangements for the Duke and Duchess's work are in place as they start their family and move to their official residence at Frogmore Cottage. The announcement of the new household is a natural development in the life of senior royals and facilitates their need to have their own staff and aides around them as they pursue their public goals. William and Harry split from their father the Prince of Wales's household when they came of age and it was always expected the brothers would set up their own separate operations when the time came. The Sussexes and Cambridge's current communications head Jason Knopf will stay with William and Kate but become their senior advisor. His responsibilities will include advising on their charitable initiatives, including work on the environment, mental health, and early childhood, and supporting a review of the charitable structures that underpin their work. 